Canonical's flagship operating system, the aptly named Ubuntu, recently released its latest version, 10.04, nicknamed the Lucid Lynx. After the disappointing 9.10 release six months ago that was plagued with bugs and included new and old features that were seemingly underdeveloped, 10.04 was Canonical's opportunity to correct its mistakes. Lucid Lynx, the first long-term support candidate since 8.04, the Hardy Heron, continues to improve and build upon both good and bad, culminating in a solid, dependable, feature-rich operating system that quickly erases the bad aftertaste of 9.10. Past users will quickly notice the orange and brown background commonplace in past versions is gone, replaced with a new purple background that is not only beautiful by itself, but contrasts wonderfully with the new theme, Ambience, a darker alternative to the lighter, Radiance theme that closely resembles prior Ubuntu releases. Ambience combined with the new background gives Lucid Links a highly polished look and feel that is sure to please longtime users. Over Lucid Link's development cycle, one notable change managed to infuriate a large section of the local Ubuntu community, the repositioning of the exit, minimize, and maximize buttons from the top right to the top left. The move was surprising due to there being no apparent reason for the switch. By positioning the buttons on the top left, Ubuntu now resembles Mac OS X in that regard. I was skeptical when the move was first announced, but after around 15 minutes of browsing, the change became normal and in fact, the feel of exiting a window on the left is smoother and a more natural experience. Linux Mint 9 included the same changes, but gave users the choice between which side to place the buttons. Hopefully, Ubuntu will integrate this feature into their next release. Lucid Link saw numerous changes to its set of pre-installed applications. GIMP, the open source alternative to Adobe's Photoshop, is no longer a pre-installed application, with photo editing responsibility being handed over to FSpot Photo Manager who for basic photo editing works well, but for those who require a full featured photo editor, you're better off downloading GIMP from the Software Center. For the first time, Lucid Links comes with a pre-installed video editor, PDV. The absence of such an editor in prior versions had garnered some criticism. While PDV may not be the most feature-rich video editor, it is easy to use, and for most Ubuntu users, that is enough. Firefox and OpenOffice were both updated to their most recent versions, 3.63 and 3.2 respectively. The updates included enhanced performance and added numerous new features. The Ubuntu Software Center made its debut in version 9.10 and was almost immediately bombarded with heavy criticism as it was lacking notable features from the prior software manager. The Software Center in Lucid Links is far from perfect. It still lacks key features such as the ability to rate and review and then sort based on the application's rating. The installation process has been refined. Formerly, users had to visit the information page of an application to download. Now, applications can be installed from the general list. The centralized nature of the Ubuntu Software Center makes the application searching and installing process far easier than what Windows or Mac has to offer. Ubuntu One, the cloud storage service operated by Canonical, plays a vital role in Lucid Links, one that opens an entirely new revenue stream for Canonical. Rhythmbox, the pre-installed music player, features a new music store plugin, the Ubuntu One Music Store. Partnered with 7Digital, the Ubuntu One Music Store allows users to purchase DRM-free music, have it transferred to their Ubuntu One account, and download it from anywhere they want. Prices are comparable to iTunes and Amazon, and the selection is robust, though I noticed some popular bands were missing. I purchased two songs from the store, and on both occasions, the process was smooth and painless. Since the world is gradually being taken over by social networking websites, the inclusion of Gwibber, a social client, makes perfect sense. Gwibber allows users to link their Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, StatusNet, Dig, FriendFeed accounts into one seamless environment where all of the updates are presented in a customizable live stream. Users are able to send messages to a single service or all of them at once. Setting up your account is simple. Just enter your username and password and you're good to go. My issue with Gwibber is that to receive updates, Gwibber must be left open. It doesn't minimize to the notification panel, and besides a quick notification pop-up, there is no way to know how many updates you've received. Canonical put out a fantastic release in 10.04, one I would quickly suggest to anyone growing tired of Mac, OS X, or Windows' lack of innovation and abundance of problems. New or experienced Linux users will immediately feel comfortable using Ubuntu, and for the majority of computer users, Ubuntu will do everything they could want. Taking the place of Ubuntu 8.04, the Hardy Heron, as the number one long-term support candidate, Ubuntu 10.04 had high expectations. LTS editions are the most likely to be used by businesses and organizations, so releasing a feature-rich, stable client is key. 
using Lucid Links, I quickly noticed an increase in performance, and in the three weeks I've been using Lucid Links, I've experienced no crashes or forced closes, and performance has remained steady, unlike Windows, which quickly slows down after installation. Lucid Links is not without flaws, however. To view videos, users must manually install a Flash Player, and audio codecs must be downloaded before being able to play music. These are simple things that may not seem like a big deal, but to new users may reinforce the misconception that Linux is unstable and inherently inferior to Windows or Mac. While the exact opposite is true, the next Ubuntu release should include Flash and audio codecs to improve the initial experience for new users. Ubuntu 10.04, the Lucid Lynx, is worthy of being a long-term support release, and the notable improvements leave me with an optimistic feeling for future Ubuntu releases.